uh, friends in this video we will i will explain how to import csv file into hbase hbase and will do perform and will perform a, a queries on that csv file in hbase now how to start let's check jps yeah now start hbase dot sh yeah in this h master h region server and uh, quorum pair is started now uh, now first we have to put put uh, that uh, csv file into hbase by using this hd h hdfs dfs copy from local this is my local system uh, location i am giving and will push or you will put it into hbase data we will okay i will check in data yeah it is there see it is there and next up is next step is uh, yeah create create a database in a special corresponding to that data column family as cf yeah created now list it yeah mall data is present now we'll describe mall data yeah it is enabled and your column family is uh, your name is column family row version is 1 a memory didn't occupy any memory like this it will show the describe uh, in describe command it will show the uh, description of column family after that uh, mm, well on uh, the third step is now i have to push uh, that uh, that uh, like, uh, mal customers dot csv data into our uh, hbase shell like in in mall data table ah, here it is yeah here it is that one by this command we will ah, now it got written oh, let's check like by using scan mall data yeah 200 rows are selected mm. i have given age gender price product id that this one is the hbase row key this is the primary key we can give only unique and it will store as uh, randomly we can uh, we can read it is randomly it will it will store in the uh, uh, table after that we will do some operations for this okay get by this get command we will filter the filter and we'll check and we'll check what is that let's 24 id ka for uh, 24 id we will check the data yeah here 24 I, 24 id is, is 31 
gender is male price is 73 uh, value is 20 uh, what is the product id is 25 now let's filter again like by 14 wait done some operations by this field column column c of gender By this we can fourteen it is there. Wait, let me check. Yeah, it is there. That's why it is giving error. Yeah, check here. I filtered this by this. Well, now we'll delete any of the data from the um, which one thirteen I will delete. delete that single column let's delete any let's delete age yeah deleted we'll see if that is present or not yeah age is del age got deleted here let's uh, by, by by delete all command we will delete full one row we, we can delete by delete all command let's delete that one let's uh, use delete all all data comma any 16 uh. yeah it got deleted here now we'll check count one nineteen and rows because one one row got deleted that's why it shows one ninety nine and we'll also do we'll also we'll also do like check is is that table is enabled or not by using is enabled is enabled command yeah true let's disable it first all data yeah now we'll check false now we'll enable by using enable By this we can enable this that uh, that data now we'll see it is true mm. we'll also do some commands okay like this I'll 
by csv file we can access the data into our hbase table and we'll see what all those operations i have shown thank you for watching